Hello friends, welcome to NC Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze heat transfer from a heater coil to a pipe that is carrying water and we are going to analyze what is the heat transfer from this copper coil to this pipe. It is a 1 meter length copper pipe. A rectangular helical coil heater is attached at the middle of this pipe. The coil temperature is 350 Kelvin. An inlet water temperature is 300 Kelvin. We need to find out what is the rise in temperature at the outlet. Let's start with creating the geometry in ANSYS design modeler. Select the fluid flow fluent package. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Change the unit to millimeter. Select the XY plane. Click on the G axis to make the sketch normal to the screen. Open the sketching toolbox. Select the circle option and draw a circle at the center. Put the dimension. Keep the circle diameter as 50 mm. Now we are going to extrude this circle to make this a cylinder extrude up to 1000 mm that is about 1 meter the pipe geometry now we are going to draw the sketch in the ZX plane select the ZX plane draw a line at the middle put the dimension this is this line is going to be our path for the helical geometry so put the length of this line up to 200 mm Put the dimension then click on generate. Now we are going to create another sketch for the helical coil. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Now put the dimensions. Put the dimension in such a way that the bottom of this rectangle should be coincident with the outer wall of this cylindrical pipe. Now we are going to shape this rectangle around this pipe. Select the line as the path. Choose the R frozen option. Put a number of turns as 5. Then click on generate. Now the helical coil has been generated around this pipe. Select the two bodies and make it as one part. Geometry is now complete. Now proceed for meshing. Open the meshing workbench. Do the default meshing. Right click on the mesh, click on generate mesh. The mesh is generated. Now check the statistics of this 
generator mess if you are using a student version of this software then make sure your the number of elements or nodes should be within 512000 within this range we are now going to further decrease the element size for this select the element size and decrease it to 0.003 meter now click on generate mess again okay meshing is complete now we are going to work with this meshing for this first assign the names to various boundary surfaces of this geometry select the outer surface of this pipe name it as pipe wall now we are going to name the inlet or rotate this one select the inlet face name it as inlet similarly name the outlet select the outlet face right click and name it as outlet select all the four six faces of this helical coil rectangular helical coil and name it as heated coil wall select the volume selection tool select the fluid domain name it as fluid domain similarly select the coil wall select the coil and name it as solid domain now click right click on the mesh and click on update Meshing is complete. Now proceed for solver setup in Fluent. Close the meshing. Open the setup option. Click on Edit. Select the double precision and click on Start. Now go to Models menu. Turn on the Energy Equation. give the default viscous model now go to materials select fluent database we are going to add the water from here select water liquid click on copy then close click on change create then close similarly we are going to add a solid material that is copper now click on fluent database Select the solid option as material type. Choose copper from this menu. Click on copy, then close. Click on change create. Now we are going to assign the materials in the cell zone conditions. Open the fluid domain. Select water liquid as the material. Click on apply, then close. Similarly, select the solid domain. Assign copper as the solid pipe material click on apply then close now go to boundary conditions list the boundary as zone type select the inlet open the inlet boundary put the velocity magnitude as point 1 meter per second click on apply then close Now go to outlet. Give the default pressure outlet. Now go to the pipe wall. Assign the adiabatic wall conditions to the pipe wall. So keep the heat flux at zero. Assign the material to copper. Now go to heater coil wall. Click on edit. Put the temperature boundary condition over here. Select the temperature option, thermal condition. 
and put the temperature as 350 Kelvin. Click on apply then close. Keep the default boundary condition, coupled boundary condition for all the other walls generated. Click on apply then close. Now go to methods. Select the green gas cell based method. Go to monitors, click on residuals and change the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 in all these equations. The lesser would be the residuals, the better would be the accuracy. For this we are decreasing this residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6. Then click on OK. Now go to initialization, select hybrid initialization and click on initialize. Hybrid initialization has been started. Hybrid initialization is complete. And go to now run calculation page. Put the number of iterations. And click on calculate. It will take some time. Calculation is complete. Close the fluent. Now we are going to see the results in CFD post processing. Insert a new contour, select all the spaces, put the parameter variable as pressure, select the local range, put the number of contours as 100, then click on apply. Now this is the temperature contour around this pool body. The heated coil at the center is having higher temperature. We can also modify this color legend bar, decrease the number of repetition. Now we are going to check. The fluid domain, temperature around this fluid domain, you can see due to this coil presence, presence of coil, the near wall temperature is higher in this pipe. I go into insert a new plane at this mid of this pipe. Select the YZ plane and keep the X at T0. So the plane will be created just at the middle of this pipe. Now we are going to see the contours, temperature contours and velocity contours at this mid plane. This is our isoplane. Insert a new contour. Select the plane as the location. Put the variable as temperature. Then click on apply. This is a temperature variation. We are going only to see what is the variations in the temperature of the coil in this section. We can see coil having minimum temperature near the pipe wall and the water having maximum temperature at the near wall regions where coil has been attached. Now we are going to see velocity. 
This is the velocity control. Now we are going to insert an a insert a line at the mid middle of this pipe. Put the coordinate. Starting point would be at the origin, and this point two will be at the z at one. You can see the line which has been created at the middle. Now we are going to insert a chart. Go to data series. Select the location as the line one. In the x-axis, select the z. And the y-axis for the various parameters like temperature. So the temperature variation along the centers of this pipe. You can see the pipe temperature is increasing. from the middle because the presence of this coil there is no significant rise in temperature due to the turbulent flow you can try with laminar flow and see the difference now select the velocity check the velocity variation in the, along this center line go to calculator step select function calculator select the function as area average select the location check the temperature at the outlet select the location as the outlet then click on calculate there is a 0.7 kelvin rise in temperature at the outlet see the pipe wall temperature with this let's conclude this demonstration hope you have like this video if you are new to our channel then please subscribe comment below if you have any doubt thank you keep learning and keep exploring